do it, buddy. Boy, about right here. Gonna be dragging on today. We're back at it again with some more God of War Ragnarok. Right As you saw, the last episode we left off right here. We're continuing this search for this wounded animal. I feel like I'm gonna fall. The creature you had. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just. I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. continue for now because no idea. Oh, oh, it is what we okay. What am I supposed to do? about that guys, sorry, let me turn this off real quick. Ooh, not me that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
trying to figure out why you've helped some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. One thing I don't like, I'm literally tapping R3 to do it, and it just doesn't do it, you know? Go! 
want to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there i remember a young lad whom until this very moment would take on an army of draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead draugr they're elves i just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes getting involved where we shouldn't
there's an angle over here that I'm missing. I really don't know how I'm supposed to. Hmm, I'm about to turn you a different way. Like. Okay. Not that way. I gotta get this one broken. I don't know. Oh. Look there. That bomb should help us out. Oh, I don't oh. see that. It's just... Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alpha, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that. But I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. I ain't like how he was looking at me. Dead. 
Kill me, bro. I thought it was cool for a minute. I was trying to like put on Viking it, but that thing said y'all eat. I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally <laughs> sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. There's got to be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. Much of the hype matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Okay. Ooh, chesty, chesty, chesty. Why did they trap it down here? Half us are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? <sighs> then let us free it. I kind of don't know what he wants to do. <laughs> This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. Go. I gotta go up to it. Okay. Oh. 
Come on. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Hey, Look, bro, hey, bro. Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but we don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches... I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Got so much XP for that. Okay, so how about, you know... Probably done. Ah! Now we go back. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimthur. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal ah! and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband. And Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. Kind of hop off. Like can't forget Amir, the, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. Enough. We will continue later. Yes. Oh! Go to the back side. Remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Terrible things have Odin and Thor done. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skadi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into <laughs> killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Landed I by Odin, I don't want to have a mother by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. 
Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, groom near the brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. I come back a little bit. Hello, Atreus. Listening to your father, I hope. <laughs> hey, Sin. We know he ain't listening. Can't go there yet. Well, I hope Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. Facts. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. But putting all that aside question. for the... Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neetho. Neetho? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neetho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neetho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... familiar. 
<laughs> I think that's the long and short of it. Safe travels. <laughs> to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much Dress. Mm -hmm. Eat. Look at this new table. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. We'll see about that. It already looks better than what I ate last time. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. I didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. Ooh. I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? Ooh. You got a point. We haven't met one yet. Be safe. To be smart. But use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that? You oh, Atreus, my son. Not Loki. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. Oh, we're about to go out again. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day? <laughs> and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here already. Already gone. Nah, I feel like a trans by go adventure again. The fact that they have the camera on solely him right now, I don't trust it. Yep, he's going out again, I can tell. Oh. Huh? Okay. Teleport himself by accident. Okay. Uh, what 
the hell? What drugs you took? What was the nest do? Oh. Come to my bed, bro. What her? I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Was that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories, and not nice ones. You broke the gate. That was our only way to Yonahan. What do you want? Let's go, Ruma. I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run off! Whatever. Can you tell me where I am? Whatever. 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 He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! What is going on? Oh, the nest stew! Please don't tell me. Is that Fenimir? Our wolf that died? Huh. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? Are you going to? Got it. Okay. Where's the third one? Where's the I third was having one? the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. There's a third wolf. <laughs> scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. Oh no, Fenrir is that, okay. Oh no, there's more wolves, okay. That's two, four, five. 
There's a lot of you. Huh. Okay. Two, four, six holes now. What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Is that ten? Maybe it's these trees. Oh my god. <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? A lot of wolves, yeah. I've never seen a forest like this before. So we jumped our way here. Or was it that like little ball we had? Through here? Like, they're all stopping, so I'm assuming. I'm not finished with it yet. Ah! Who is you? Okay. The paint is made from the bark of the ironweed trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Yo! Of the future. Yeah, who is this black chick? This is the first time she's a black I person. Need to get blood on. Um, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am. She don't say Loki. What's wrong? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Hmm. You look weirder than I imagined. Well, fuck you then. Oh. Sorry. Hey. I won't nap na um, that ass. Was that mean? Yes, it was. Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, okay. Thanks. Sure. I give her that one. Let's start over. Why are you told me? I'm Angoboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me, like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, Loki. I knew it. Right. Is I knew you call me Loki. Not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Oh. Oh. New, wait, what, what you mean, new skills? Oh, archery skills I got one. I'll, uh, take my own path. So, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. I've heard the Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. So, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Let alone go searching for the forest of the giants if he doesn't think he's Forest of the Giants. 
That's what some people call it. Or called it. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants were all supposed to be giants. <sighs> so, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Take that! Watch out! out! doing before you came here surviving fumble winter wait is that a thing around here did you know about it i did Chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Cindy was doing. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. I can't believe there are nightmares there, too. Something my father. You know what? Never mind. Looking good. Thanks. Wait. What? It looks like you're going the right way. Oh. Yeah. Totally. I'm great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. What? That's cool. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... Yeah. I thought he was gonna start... Oh, boss. I'm not saying she's towards me. I'm saying that's what I thought he was gonna say. Like, you know, he's gonna be like... Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, I heard I heard some stuff on love interest in here for Treya, so I'm thinking that's her maybe. <laughs> Whoa! Gotcha! Thanks. Guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they? Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this. Okay. I'm sorry. Edie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay! I can slow down! We fat, won't go. <laughs> I'm happy you know what you did. Tassel worm! I've seen these before. Well, then you should know how to. Needle! It's usually not so lively around here. Guess I'm just lucky. Nah, you're just lucky. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
I swear I pressed it right. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people okay. would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. A little cyborg. Here. Gold. Oh. Isn't that been your magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. We're going to here. We're going to here. <laughs> we're, we're, we're literally over an hour now. Um, and this is going up right now, today. It was a double upload for me that uploaded yesterday or the day before. So, yeah, we're gonna do it here. We have a lot has happened in this episode. Um, we met her. <coughs> I'm gonna call her Double Triple A for short. I ain't doing all that. Um, he is Loki to the Giants. That's his name. Is Loki to the Giants. I wonder how Kratos, Kratos is gonna take that. I wonder what Kratos is gonna do. He just walks in his room and sees like he's not there. The bed is gone and everything. Cause, but the simple fact that he dreamed himself there. That's cool. That's cool as shit. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we're gonna end the video here. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment. I love talking guys in the comment section. Share. Share the video with your friends, family, shit, share with your grandma even. And until next time, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bought it. I go out. Peace.